All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're enjoying the day off from work, from school, hanging with your friends and your family. We actually got three games on today. Uh, Lions, Bills, Cowboys, Giants, and then Patriots, Vikings. Unfortunately, I am going to be missing the Patriots game just because I'm going to be driving back to, uh, to Tampa. But in this one, I wanted to talk about what I'm expecting to see from Mike White in this upcoming Chicago Bears matchup. Because yes, Zach Wilson and Mike White, they're playing in the same system. They're on the same team. They're being practiced uh, or they're, they're being coached the same way in practice. But both quarterbacks have two different sets of skills. Um, yes, they are similar in, in certain ways, but I think there's three things that I'm really just excited to see from Mike White, but I'm also expecting to see from Mike White. Three, three obvious changes. The first is from a mechanic standpoint. When I watch Mike White, play the quarterback position, drop, drop backs, delivery, all that kind of stuff. It is really clean. Uh, when we look at preseason, when we look at last season, right, the Bengals game, uh, when we just watch Mike White in a Jets uniform from a mechanical standpoint, it, comparing it to Zach Wilson this year, I think there's going to be a massive, massive upgrade. And the mechanics are important because that helps you. I mean, that's really the foundation of throwing accurate footballs. You can make the perfect decision. You can read the defense beautifully. You can know exactly where to go with the football. That wide receiver can break, you know, break free and be wide open. But if you aren't throwing from a solid base, the chances of that pass being an accurate football is slim. So Mike White, I think right off the bat from a mechanical standpoint, lower body specifically is going to be much, much better. Um, you know, we're not going to, there's been times where Zach Wilson literally jumps in the air and tries to throw passes down the field. Um, there's times where Zach Wilson throws all arm. He's completely off base. I think Mike, the, the one guy that Mike White really reminds me of, like another NFL quarterback in, in, in how he throws, how he drops back is Jared Goff. Um, I, I know Jerry Goff isn't a top 10 guy or anything like that, but what I'm saying is Mike White is fundamentally sound. He He's mechanically sound, and I do feel like he can go out there, and because of his mechanics being clean, he can go out and, is, and really all he has to do is process the information, read the defense, and understand where to go with the football. So... Again, we're not going to be seeing these weird, like, it almost kind of looks like half-ass throws or like sidearm flicks or Brett Favre, like, you know, uh, underhand tosses or anything like that. I think we're just going to see the more traditional type of, type of pocket passer, which leads me to the second point. We just talked about it, processing information. Mike White, a little bit older than Zach Wilson, okay? He's, you know, he's obviously spent more time as a backup. He's prepared. We've seen Mike White perform at a really, really high level last season. We've seen him make mistakes. I mean, if we take a look at the numbers on last year, he threw for just under a thousand yards in just a handful of games. That's, you know, that tells me that Mike White knows the system. He knows where to go with the football and he does make good decisions. He He's smart enough to understand what the defense is doing to him. I'm not saying he's a top 15, top 20 quarterback in football, but as a backup option, as a guy who we can say, Mike, we got a great defense. We have offensive playmakers. The, this team will be in, be in the game in the fourth quarter. It's not like you're going to have to come back by 20. It's not like we're going to need three second half touchdowns for you know us to win the game and have some crazy stuff happen if you just manage the game distribute be the point guard go out there and try to get you know 12 assists a game like you don't have to do anything crazy we don't need another Bengals Bengals performance we don't need another 400 we need 190 maybe a touchdown or two no interceptions completing the ball at a high level controlling the clock controlling the game keeping the opposing uh, or the opposition's offense off the field and I think Mike White has shown the ability to do that but now we factor in again the team is better around White this go round as opposed to last year and time has passed time has passed you know people keep saying which I completely agree with, you know, Zach Wilson spending time on the bench is really, really going to help him. That's what Mike White's been doing since last year. Uh, since, you know, he's had, he had those uh, starts again, some good, some bad, but he's had so much time on the bench to prepare. He's probably going to look like a more polished version of last season. So that's number two. And then number three is just because of his size, because of 
how he plays the quarterback position, he is more of a traditional pocket passer. And he's he's 6'5", by the way, as well. He's not, he doesn't look like he's like six foot one out there, can barely see over the offensive line and needs to break out of the pocket. In some cases with Zach Wilson, um, Zach has actually been breaking out of clean pockets. Like, why are you bailing out? Um, being tall, being standing strong in the pocket, showing poise in the pocket um, really helps offensive plays develop. Um, again, within the offense, I'm not talking about broken plays down the field. So with that, I think Mike White will do a will come in and do a good job of just operating the offense, again, distributing the football, but playing within the system, playing within the confines, being able to go through reads, again, understanding what the defense is trying to do, do to him, process information, and get the ball to where it needs to be. He's not going to be breaking out of the pocket within you know two seconds here because he just doesn't feel comfortable back there he doesn't want to get hit or, or or anything like that I feel confident in Mike White dropping back and hanging onto the football for three four seconds and him not getting uh, not getting scared not getting erratic not wanting to immediately go down for a sack or try to throw the football away immediately and just look like uh, a deer in headlights I think he's going to look, I, I, I keep on, I keep on referencing it, but just look a little bit more polished, a little bit more like just an NFL, like a traditional NFL quarterback, pocket passer. Um, I'm not saying he is these quarterbacks, but what we could kind of expect is like Matt Ryan, not like Indianapolis Colts, Matt Ryan, but just a guy who, or even Kirk Cousins, Matt Stafford, a guy who could just go out there and execute, operate the offense, get the play call in. It's not too difficult. It's not overwhelming. You know, if something breaks down, if a guy falls down, if, you know, if he doesn't like a defensive look, if there's a blitz, whatever it is, uh, offensive lineman gets, gets burned, he's not going to panic. So I, I think... I think a change had to be made, as much as I hate to say it, a change had to be made with Zach Wilson at the starting spot. Um, I feel like a lot of Jet fans are kind of in the same boat because this team is a playoff team. This defense is a playoff defense. Um, I'm excited about the future. I really, really am. We don't need Mike White to be Aaron Rodgers, to be Tom Brady, to be Josh Allen, to be Pat Mahomes. We don't need him to. We just need him to go out there and manage the game. And if you could do that, I feel really, really good about the Jets' chances in the second half, especially when we take a look at the defenses that the, that the Jets' offense um, is going to be playing against. I mean, I, I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. So anyway, again, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your day off. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.